I'm Dan from Stanton Bikes. We've had quite a few emails regarding different technical aspects of our frames, so we decided to put together these new tech edits. The first one we're going to talk about is Boost. So what we've got set up over here is a switchback with 12142 dropouts and a 12142 wheel over there, and a switchback with a set of Boost dropouts and a Boost wheel over there. The first thing I'm going to show you is the 12142 wheel, standard Mavic Crossride 12142. Drop the wheel in, you'll see that there's quite a bit of space between the dropout and the wheel itself. There's about two, three mil of space there. This is because the frames are made to a 145 spacing. I'll just show you that with this badger. You'll see it comes up at 145. There we go. This means then, with a 12142 dropout, the frame is pulling in 1.5 millimeters either side. Okay? On a boost dropout, the frame's obviously still made to the same width, but with these little chamfers, the boost hub pushes in, it spreads the stays open 1.5 millimeters either side. I'll show you that with a boost wheel over it, applied by me uh, good mate at Superstar. There we go. There it is. You can see the brake works absolutely fine. The reason the brakes work absolutely fine is because there's about 3mm of float on the caliper. Here's a little close up of the dropouts so you can see a nice little chamfer that helps guide the wheel in and it's also cut away here so that it, it uh, accommodates the locking ring for the cassette. Obviously, as the frame pulls in 1.5 millimeters either side on the 12 or 142 dropouts, it makes no real difference in terms of the stress on the frame to push them open 1.5 millimeters. So this little chamfer just helps guide the wheel in. We try to make our frames as versatile as possible, and as the industry is bringing out new standards all the time, rather than totally redesigning the back end of the frame, we thought we just designed some new dropouts so that you can either run 12 or 142 wheels. Boost wheels, standard QR wheels, if you still have some old school standard QR wheels knocking around, or even single speed. Well, I hope this tech talk's been informative. Uh, we're going to be doing a few more of these about the uh, different products that we make and why we choose the particular materials that we do, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one, and hopefully see you next time. Thanks.